OK, now we need to concentrate upon the actual pattern uh, that we're going to create on, on the matrix uh, sequencer. And what we're going to do here is just use the uh, play around with the gate values, which you'll see down in the bottom of the uh, sequencer window. And what I like to do is to create a couple of tied values. The tied value will represent where the gate is allowing the audio to be heard. And if we were to have a negative value, like these two here, that's when we're not going to hear the sound. So an on and off period here, um, giving us that stuttered effect. There's no kind of uh, hard and fast rule as to what pattern is best. I would suggest that you play around and create as many patterns as you can. And to save these patterns within the pattern bank, which you'll find on the left hand side of the matrix itself. I'm just going to add a few bits here. And what we should do now is to audition that sound. So we have to hit run on the matrix, select the subtractor, and play some notes on the keyboard. <laughs> OK, there you have it, the basic gated effect created by the matrix um, analog pattern sequencer. Um, I personally think that that sounds a little bit dull, and I would myself like to add a bit of warmth to it by creating some reverb. And so I'll create a reverb, which I'll add to the subtractor. Or indeed, you could create a delay and uh, setting a low value on the dry wet use that. Let's have a listen to what the, uh, how the sound is affected by that now. Now, um, to do with pads, it's quite, it's quite fine to have the speed that it is at the moment, but um, if any of you are aware or know much more about psychedelic trance movement particularly, you'll notice that there's much faster gait patterns. Um, and we can uh, change the speed of the actual uh, or how the gate comes on and off uh, by changing the resolution here on the right hand side. So if we were to click it up one notch and then we were to play again, let's see how that's affected. So as you can hear, it's a much faster, uh, faster effect. Um, that's particularly useful when it comes to uh, lead work. Um, I personally prefer to have the slower or original resolution of 1 16th for pad work and for lead work to have a slightly faster resolution. But again, this is really um, up to your own personal taste. So just two tips here. Save as many different patterns as you like and use the resolution to suit the actual sound that you're trying to manipulate. OK, as I said before, we can also um, use the gate on a sample that we care to bring into the Reason environment. So let's just uh, create uh, a Dr. Rex loop player, and from that we can uh, manipulate that sound. <laughs> 